Rufus. Rufus and Kim Possible, you guys. Hmm. My little naked mole rat. Hello everyone, welcome to back to my channel. You're watching the Sydney Mewson Show with your host, Sydney Mewson. Welcome to another week here in Ireland. I know I keep saying that, but if you have seen my other Ireland vlogs, you know that I've been here for about three weeks now and I'm gonna be pushing four weeks at the end of this week. <laughs> I have been here for quite a while, so there's not a ton of things that I haven't seen here in Dublin city center. However, there are some museums, there are a few attractions like the Book of Kells that I haven't seen yet. And so this week I'm gonna be focusing on more like chill, relaxed vibes here. But again, make sure to watch the other videos to get caught up. And if you are new, make sure to subscribe and make a ton of travel videos and vlogs that you might find interesting. So let's get into this vlog. I hope you guys enjoy. This is my view out of my hotel. I'm staying at the Ashling Hotel here in Dublin city center, really close to the Guinness storehouse. But what I found interesting as I was looking out the window this morning is that this little area behind that truck, this is the river Liffey that runs through Dublin. So we kind of have a little water view. To this place called Toasty, and they have a lot of little sandwiches. I think I got the chicken parm one. Yeah, like chicken parm with tomato and stuff, and a nice little chai latte. now in the cathedral here it's so beautiful I have been here before but I haven't been inside so I'm thinking I might do that but first I kind of just want to relax drink some water maybe listen to a podcast here for a second it's about 3 p.m. and I've just been walking around Grafton Street and around the riverfront it's been so nice but I need to relax I'm currently inside the St. Patrick's Cathedral and you can get your tickets here for 9 euro and then they give you like one of these little things so you can listen to each of the little audiobook portions of it which is really nice. It's so beautiful in here. It's so grand and they actually have services here where you can attend and like literally see this in action so that's really cool. Short 
just finished. That was super cool. Would definitely say go visit. I'm gonna head back to the hotel now because I'm getting tired and I need to lay down. I'm back with Brent. We're at Musashi. Japanese food. We're gonna get our sushi and ramen on. And some tea. Of course, I got the chicken katsu curry again, which looks amazing. Brent got a couple nigiri. I feel like we're just doing the same thing that we did last time, but he got the ramen again, the tonkatsu ramen. So good. Thanks so much. Here's my little, of course, here's my little rice. Nice. store to get some breakfast now for Brent and I because he's not feeling so well but yeah it is raining so you know you know how it is <laughs> my delicates. <laughs> I do not feel nor do I have the money to be spending seven euros on one t-shirt so that is why it must be done. <laughs> just finished getting ready and here is my outfit of the day I have my little Kim Possible outfit on <laughs> I got these pants last week and I love them they are just like lightweight airy I know they're trending right now but with my little stands and a white bodysuit I got from Zara I don't really have any plans for today but if there's one thing you need to know about me, I'm a brunch girl through and through. And I found this really good brunch place on TikTok. It's called Urbanity, I think. Urbany, Ur Urbanity. I wanna say that, okay? Either way, they have some good food options. They have like a scrambled egg dish that I wanna try, but yeah. Also, quick update on Brent. He is feeling a little bit better. Yesterday was kind of a wash. It was super gloomy out and rainy. And I don't know, I feel bad. I think it's like severe tiredness because we've just been all over the place. We've just been thrown around, packing up, unpacking, moving, working. He's working so many hours in a day. So, you know, he just needed to sleep for a whole day. That's really what needed to happen. Here's my little breakfast for the day. We got scrambled eggs with, not really sure what charred green that is on top, but whatever. And then a turmeric and ginger latte. That was actually really good. I couldn't even finish it because it was just, it was a lot. <laughs> and the latte was amazing, the turmeric and ginger, I needed that. Overall, really good place. I would definitely recommend you visit it. But now I'm just walking around. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I literally am like full, so I need to walk it off a little, but I don't know, maybe some shopping? I did that yesterday. Okay, whatever, we're gonna figure it out. not understand the weather here. I got a lot of stuff from this Carol's place. They have one of these everywhere in uh, Ireland. I've seen them literally everywhere we've gone. 
but I just haven't like bought a lot of stuff from it because I've been trying to hold out and be like, okay, what's the best? This is everything I got at Carol's in case you're interested. Some toffee, a little lip balm I think is over there, an essential oil. These are body scrubs right here, which they smell really good. A couple Guinness chocolates. They're mini pints and that is super cute. <laughs> this is for my sister. She does not need this, but it's so cute. And then I got her the matching little magnet that goes with it. And this little Guinness magnet, this is for my friend Katie, who's having a baby soon. And then three chocolate bars, dark chocolate and truffle chocolate. That was a pretty good haul. Again, they have these carols everywhere, so if you are looking for <laughs> souvenirs, this is definitely the place to go. Brenty's back. Yay, Brenty! Do you feel better? Yeah. A little bit? Just tired. Just tired. Same. Ready to go eat some food? I think so. <laughs> we have to walk 600 feet to the, the next door restaurant. <laughs> we can make it. We ended up coming to this place called Ryan's and I got a glass of Guinness and Brent got the Guinness 0.0. .0. Yeah, I get Here comes a little boat of gravy. breakfast this morning at woof like woof woof like a dog <laughs> and now I'm just walking along the river Liffey and I'm going to walk over by the spire which is like this huge like pinpoint needle that's sticking straight up it's kind of on this side of the river that I'm on and then this is the side where like temple bar is but I'm gonna go head over there soon and just go walk around there's a mall over there and then I have an hour until I have made a reservation for the book of Kells if you don't know what the Book of Kells are, the Trinity College, the campus is here. And they have a beautiful library that you can go inside. It is kind of expensive, it's like 18 euros to go inside. So I will let you know if it's worth the 18 euros, which is like $20. Other than that, we're just gonna walk around for like an hour and then I'll update you on how that goes. Yes, we can make it if we try. Keep on trying. I'm here at Trinity College, just waiting for my time slot to go into the Book of Kells. Makes me feel like I'm back in college again. Good old days. No, but truly this campus is really pretty. And it's just so crazy that it's just smack dab in the middle of Dublin. So when you're walking around, you're like, hmm, what's this building? And then boom, you're like popped into this beautifulness. Last time we were here, which was maybe last week or so, I saw a wedding take place in the chapel and it was so pretty. But wow. It's cool walking around here again. Yes, we can make it if we try. Keep on a trying. If you're going to visit the Book of Kells, you need to make sure to book a reservation probably like two to three days in advance. I had to book mine a couple days ago and they had like no time slots left. But that's fine because I have literally all the free time. So that's nice, but I think it's only 30 minutes that you get in there. I don't know if it's a tour, I don't know what's gonna happen, we're gonna find out, but you only get around 20 to 30 minutes, and I heard that's enough time, so we'll see. Just keep on trying. Yeah. 
What's the worst case scenario? Plan out in your head how it's all gonna go So you think you got it covered But there's always something new that you discover you've not thought about You can never figure out Every possible outcome And you're so scared you'll get it wrong Have a good time but don't worry after Petrify what they think I'm awkward I just left I'll give you a full debrief when I get back to the hotel. <clears throat> you guys, the Dublin weather is horrendous right now. Like, everyone I've talked to who is from Ireland is just saying that this is not actually the July weather that we're supposed to have. But let me tell you, it has rained here so many days that I've been here and it just puts me in a bad mood. Like I can't get over it. And also it's the misty rain. It's not just like full blown rain or full blown like thunderstorms. It's it's misty rain with huge gusts of wind that's just coming at you. And I was like, pick one, just be rainy or be windy. Why does it have to be in between? Oh, it's the literal worst. <sighs> Anyways, let me sit down so I can recap the Book of Kells. <sighs> Look, I don't know if I'm in the right mind space to be telling you about the Book of Kells, but I'm saying this generously. I think I was in there for 15 minutes. That is super generous, probably more like 11 minutes. I just, I don't know what I was expecting. I did the whole thing. You walk through, you read about the history, you read about what the Book of Kells is made of. It's made of calf skin. You know, I did the whole thing. And then the actual Book of Kells is behind a glass little thing and it's in a dark room you can't take any pictures or video so that was cool but again you can't see it and then you go into the long room which is where the book of kells like the the library is and i don't know what i was expecting but there's actually only three bookshelves in there that are fully filled and the rest is empty with like the statues and stuff and it just i guess i was expecting something more and it's not like a letdown because a lot of people told me, you know, Book of Kells is like not the top priority when you're here in Dublin. But for 1850 euros, like I, I would say skip it. I would just say skip it. That's my personal opinion. I didn't need that 11 minutes. I walked 40 minutes there and 40 minutes home to go see that. I mean, I did other things along the way, but now I'm really tired. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna relax. Brent will be home in an hour or so. I'm gonna go call my mom because she called me earlier and I need to call her back. So that is the update. I also need to pack because we leave in a day. Where are we headed? Temple Bar. What do you sound like that? Hey guys, I lost my voice. Oh. We're gonna, gonna go to the Harry Lemon. Yeah, we're gonna go to the Temple Bar area for some dinner. And then the Harry Lemon for a drink. We love yeah. the Harry Lemon. Love the Harry Lemon. If you're ever here in Dublin, you should go to the Harry Lemon. You have to go to the Harry Lemon. It's Turtle. like outside of Temple Bar enough that you don't get charged really high. Mm hmm But it's also the Harry Lemon. Are you gonna buy one of their whiskeys? I'm thinking about it. Oh my gosh. I kind of want to. <laughs> you look like a little red ornament right now. Yeah. What's the what's the guy's name in Kim Possible? Ron? Ron in Kim Possible? No, no, no. You be Kim, obviously. And then I'll be... Scrat? I don't know who that is. The naked mole rat. <laughs> <laughs> Rufus. 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 Rufus and Kim Possible, you guys. Hmm. My little naked mole rat. Brent has ordered some ganok. <laughs> Noki. <laughs> yeah. Some nice Noki, and we're in this little tavern restaurant. We're also here with Alec. And is it really good? I don't know what you got. Some kind of... Oh, perfect. Welcome to Ireland. <laughs> We're heading to the Harry Lemon for a drink. And Brent has the day off tomorrow. Next bar. We got some good music going on. <laughs> Next round. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Right in there. <laughs> Temple Bar. <laughs> <laughs> 
Umbrellas, you cannot go anywhere here without a freaking umbrella. Like, it's, goodness, look at this! Thank goodness, Brent brought the look umbrella. at this. This is crazy. And everyone just came like super prepared with their umbrellas, obviously. <laughs> oh, 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 wait, it just stopped. What the heck? What? That was literally 12 seconds of rain. That was the weirdest thing. Heading home, it's 11 p.m., and it just turned dark. Crazy. It's so trippy. It is so trippy. How late it turns dark. Like it's literally 11 and I swear we walked out of the temple bar and it was still light out for a second. <laughs> what a nice stroll home on a Thursday afternoon. Thursday night. <laughs> Not Thursday afternoon, oh my gosh. Good morning everybody, today is our last day here in Dublin and we are currently at Phoenix Park. It's one of the largest parks in the EU, I think. It's a huge park here in Dublin for sure. And we're walking around, we're gonna go get some tea, or not tea, we're going to a tea house, the Phoenix Park tea house. And we're just gonna have like a chill last day because we have nothing planned. We don't really need to do anything today. But at the same time, we're trying to make the most of it. There is the prettiest gardens here. I mean, look at this behind us. <laughs> it looks unreal. I had no idea we were four minute walk away from this park. This is the little tea shop that they have here. And we just ordered some sandwiches and salad. There is a guy singing opera over here and it is so beautiful. We ended up getting two little ham and cheese toasties and some pesto salad stuff. I don't even know what <laughs> We don't even know what we got. We're just like, we want what the people had in front of us. <laughs> You guys can't see it in the frame, but there's like a literal like bird shit right there. <laughs> Anyways. I feel like it's kind of bittersweet, us leaving today. Obviously we're so happy, we just checked into our flights. So happy about that. <laughs> but it's a little sad. Yeah, I'm ready to go home. Mmm. That's really good. I think it would just have come with this on the side. I think we were making it too complicated, but yeah. I just really wanted the pesto pasta. I, yeah, it was worth asking. <laughs> I know, because I was like, well, whatever it is. <laughs> I ended up eating my hair. There is a croquet field, cricket field as well? Uh, croquet and cricket? Prob probably. And a just, polo, polo field. We polo just saw- Polo club, horse stable, oh, butterflies, uh, <laughs> horse stable. Horse stable. This place is insane. We gotta find these deer. Yes, we just saw a lot of deer scat, so I'm scat. hoping. Are you a Skate. Skittily skate. I was in the Aristocats play. I was Duchess, <laughs> so I would know a little bit of scat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Carol will know. We're heading towards the castle. We're like five minute walk away. Kind of reminds you of the dark hedges. Does that scare you, Brent? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Here's the castle. Just a little dude. Surrounded by these beautiful hedges. And there's a whole park. It's popping today. We just sit here. There's also a cafe here, so we might get a drink and just chill here for a little bit.
this little flower garden nearby. So pretty, there's little apples in the tree. So pretty. Just right next to the castle area. Ooh, look at these huge sunflowers. You see the sunflowers? <laughs> these are so pretty. or squash or something in there. You can kind of see it. So why don't you want to pack? I'm so tired. We walked 12,000 steps, which doesn't seem like a lot, but yesterday I walked almost 20,000. Uh, Sounds like a lot of excuses to me. It's a rain. If you don't get up now, I'm going to show the vlog your dirty socks. They're not dirty, they're clean. Then why are they crusty? Because <laughs> I had to wash them in the sink. Oh. I gave her just... a special bag to put the socks in. Because I'm not touching them. <laughs> We're going to get that figured out. This is mine. Clothes laid out. Perfectly weighed. <gasps> How do you zoom in on this? Oh, it's not looking good. At least they can't smell you. <laughs> it's not that bad. Not that I just bad. haven't washed my clothes in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it is time, folks. It's we've time. packed up. We've gotten our ish together. And we're going to go get our last dinner here. And our final Guinness. Our final Guinness, our final dinner. Meeting and up with some of Brent's coworkers. <laughs> and it's gonna be Japanese, it's not gonna be Irish food. We found this amazing dinner. Japanese place called Takara and it's a little bit like 30 minutes that way. But it doesn't even really affect you. <laughs> oh, anyway. I thought it was that way. <laughs> well, whatever. No. Anyways, we're gonna go to the Japanese restaurant. It's gonna be amazing. Oh yeah. That's all we've been eating this week anyways, so just feels right. What do you think you're gonna get? Probably the katsu curry. Yep, I'm probably gonna get the ramen, <laughs> the ramen. again. <sighs> Are you uh, sad that we're leaving soon? Eh, I'm ready to leave. Yeah, we're ready to leave. It wouldn't be a proper send off if it wasn't pouring rain. Yeah. <laughs> we took the sweet part away out of the bittersweet. <laughs> <laughs> this is the place, you guys. Takara, the best sushi we've never, or like the best Japanese restaurant. We've never been here when there hasn't been a line, so that's how you know it's good. <laughs> Unfortunately, the other place was super crowded, so we ended up coming to this place called Yamamori. And it's right next door. And we got a couple of Kirins to start, but good stuff. Wow, this is gourmet. Alec and I got the same thing, and it is gourmet, you guys. And some yakisoba. I know, it looks so pretty. <laughs> we are currently in the church. It's a church converted into a restaurant, and we're gonna get some drinks here. Very casual, this is Arthur Guinness right here. And fun fact, he actually got married here in this church. We are just gonna get one of our last Guinnesses here. Brent said he must have two Guinnai before he leaves. Second to last. Second to last Guinnai. <laughs> Slancha.
are going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching all of our Ireland vlogs. The last four weeks have been crazy, but I finally hope you've enjoyed. Leaving. We're finally leaving and we've had a great time. We've had some ups, we've had some downs, we've had a lot of food and <laughs> we need to work out back home. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next vlog. But until then, bye Felice. Thank you.